you're going to fire a bow and arrow, then you should go and do a little bit of work on firing a bow and arrow because the circumstances are never going to be perfect. You know, you're going to be firing while you're running, while it's raining. You know, you have to fire a certain mark in a certain place, so you need to be so familiar with that that you've got to make the thing that's part of your character part of you. My very first night on set was shooting a flaming arrow. And I thought, that's pretty cool. The archery training has gone on all the way through the film. They all met up in, in Australia with Russell and built up a team spirit there. The equipment we built has to be authentic to the period. And Ridley and Russell were most insistent that these had to be accurate representations of the bows we used. There are in excess of 200 long bows purpose made for this film, each one from my workshop. In, I would say in excess of 7,000 arrows. Archery was a big delight, surprise. I've never done it really before and loved it. And, and I think I will continue to do it, actually. You have to learn how to grab an arrow and knock it, which is harder than shooting an arrow, by the way. To grab an arrow, knock it onto the string, oh, and then do it. That's the hardest part. And when I first started, I take the arrow. It took me like 45 seconds. Like it was like threading a needle. And now we're just And it's because really he allows us to, to shoot the actual arrow. So we get to experience that and it really comes out and you'll see it in the movie. Russell is the best. Alan is second and I'm a close third on Alan's tail. But we've gotten really, really good. It's surprising how good we've gotten. It's practice with archery. You'll know if you're good at it, you can build on it and it'll keep coming. 